And then level three. Okay. Clutch went on that. That's interesting. Hey guys, Brad here. And today's review is gonna be on DeWalt's DCD-997. This is a hammer drill and is a really, really nice hammer drill. Uh, before I get into it, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video because it definitely helps us out. And we've always got great tool reviews for you guys to enjoy. So let's take a close look at this hammer drill. Now you may notice something similar to this. It is just like a, a tool review we just did, the DCD996. And there's only one major difference and I'm gonna get to that in a second. So let's take a look at the specs. Okay, it's got the half inch chuck, nice metal chuck on it. All right, this thing weighs about 4.6 pounds. It's about $215 Canadian and I've seen it for around, you know, uh, a little bit lower than that is like 200 Canadian, which is like 170 American, some different places. So it's, it's kind of all over the map. There's three different modes on this, three different speeds. And on level one for RPMs, we're looking at zero to 450 RPMs. Level two, we're looking at zero to 1300 RPMs. And level three, zero to 2000 RPMs. And that's just in the drilling mode. When we switch it over to the hammer mode, then things go up a little bit. So uh, hammer mode, level one, we're looking at zero to 500 RPMs, level two, uh, up to 1500 RPMs, and level three is zero to 2250 RPMs. So the major difference between this guy and this DCD996, which we just did a review on, right is bluetooth connect so if you are really into being able to track your tools if you work on a commercial job site uh, and you're lending out your tools all the time then the connect is definitely worth it um, you know if, if you want to maintain you know who's using what if you're lending it out that's a nice application i'll kind of go through the app just a little bit here to show you sort of what it does. This 996 does not have the connect on it. They are identical drills as far as the mechanics go, the size, the body, all that kind of stuff. Really, really similar drills. I'm just kind of looking at something here and the height. Yeah, we're identical. We are identical. They, the only difference is that this has a Blue Connect in it. So you don't have to buy a Blue Connect battery. Um, it's, it's just such a great drill. And now the reason I got this was because I was at Home Depot and I saw it on sale for a hundred bucks. And as you know, I just got this one. I think I paid 200 for it or something like that. And you know, I'm always burning out drills, so I figured $100, I can't go wrong. This is a $200 and, you know, $20 drill. Uh, I've even seen it for higher than that. So I picked it up. Now, the, uh, you know, it's got a brushless motor and all that kind of stuff. The only real difference on it visually is this front section here. So on, on the 996, when you press the on button, it has a light and there's three different light modes. Okay, three different brightnesses. The brightest one stays on for 20 minutes. It's super bright. I really, really like it. With the 997, you've got a button for a selector. Okay, so when you press this, then you can select through for your light that way. The only thing that's a little strange to me is that when you're on the house, there's a picture of a house and one, two, three. The house shines up the, uh, the light, just as regular sort of lumens. Then when you go to level one, there's nothing there. Then when you go to level two, it's a medium brightness, and then level three is super bright. So I kind of thought level one, two, and three would be your lights, and then home would be for when you're trying to connect the actual tool to your 
iPhone. Now, it doesn't have to be an iPhone. It could be an iPad or tablet or whatever you're using. Um, so let's take a look at the actual app here. And I will show you what it looks like. So in previous videos, we've sort of gone through the, the Connect. Now I've got the, uh, I'm just going to turn this light off here. I've got it written right here, hammer drill. So if I want to click on that, and then if I want to locate it, this is the part that I really don't understand. Yeah, you press, sorry, uh, identify. When you press identify, all it does is flash these lights on the drill itself. Say one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. It should have a beeping noise. It'd be pretty easy to put a little tiny, you know, speaker in this thing to make a beeping noise. Like, why not? Or flash the light at us or, or anything to help. Because honestly, if this is hidden in the toolbox, again, I've talked about this before, it'd be really, really nice so that, you know, okay, I know it's in this vicinity. I mean, look behind me, let's say it's in this room of tools, which is just ridiculous. Um, how am I supposed to find it, right? I mean, unless I'm super organized, which I am, but if it's in a toolbox and I forgot which toolbox it's in, it'd be nice if this thing chirped at me and made a little bit of a noise so that I could kind of hone in on a little better as opposed to just saying, yeah, it's in the garage or the shop or the house or whatever. Um, it's to me it's pointless it's still pointless but if you're you know a contractor and you're working commercial then it's good for the fact that you can tell if maybe it walks off site right someone's taking it out of range and they shouldn't be because they accidentally chucked it in their toolbox and it's going home with the wrong person so that's the only benefit to tool connect in my mind and the fact that maybe you can tell with some things if they've been you know, mishandled, but ultimately it's, it's just sort of like they have a tool diagnostic on it and you can kind of see, like it says, when I press tool diagnostic, it doesn't really tell me much. It's, it's barely been used and the backup cell on it is excellent. And you know, there's not a lot to really say. It's got actions. I can lend it, you can unpair it. So, you know, you can get notifications here, tool enable, uh, disable out of range, that type of stuff. So that's cool. Like if someone takes it, it disables the tool. And that's only good if it's in the tool itself. If it's on the battery, like a lot of them are, then again, then it, sure, it disables the battery, but uh, you know, I'm sure there's workarounds that if you really wanted to, to make it work. So I don't know, guys. I'm still not sold on the Tool Connect. I wish DeWalt would just just think a little bit more and just make it so it would chirp at you or something. I mean, that would just be huge. If they're coming out with new tools, just, just have that application. It would be so easy to do, you know. Um, yeah, otherwise, it's, it's a great drill to have in your arsenal. I highly recommend it. And it's identical to the 996. So if you got these, you're definitely going to be able to drill a lot of holes. And speaking of drilling holes, maybe we'll just drill a hole just for the heck of it. Uh, I've got a, what is this, a three-quarter inch speed bit here. So I'll show you how fast this thing will plow through here. We're going to go level, well, let's do level one first, okay? Here we go. Oh, I got on hammer drill, my bad. Okay, now level two. Pretty impressive. And then level three. Clutch went on that. That's interesting. Let's try it again. Ooh. 
Something very interesting there, guys. What is going on? Let's try that again. Hmm. I wonder if there's something wrong with this drill. It was on sale for a hundred bucks. It was a return. It said on the box it was a return from an online purchase. I looked at it. It honestly, it was brand new, had not been used. You know, you can kind of tell. So that's a little interesting. I'm gonna have to play with this a little bit. Maybe I'm gonna be returning it myself. But, you know, level two seemed fine. It's that level three that was acting up on me. Hmm, just sounded a little funny in there. Oh, I see what's going on. The chuck is loosening. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to investigate a little more. Sometimes you do get a faulty tool. Overall though, I mean, this one here, the DCD996 that I've been using has been amazing. Like I said, the only difference between the two is the Bluetooth. They are a really, really nice hammer drill. I'm gonna play with that level just a little bit to see if there's something going on with this chuck. Maybe I just didn't have it tight enough because it was slipping there a little bit. So we'll check it out. But ultimately, I do love these tools. They are proving to be very, very nice, very powerful and getting the job done. So I hope you like the review, guys. Please subscribe, hit that notify bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Definitely leave some comments because love to get uh, your knowledge and, and just back and forth with you. So keep on crushing it. Catch you later.